guys how you guys doing today welcome to late Brock TV thank you so much for being here so today's video I'm going to talk about Paula Costa versus Robert Winnaker is cancelled you know the cancellation of the fight uh, this is supposed to be a UFC 284 happening next year but was cancelled due to Paula Costa doesn't like uh, the money he's getting from the UFC he doesn't like his current contract okay you know, Paula Costa has been in the UFC for so long. He's been performing well. You know, he's been doing well, but he lost uh, a fight to Israel Desenier. That was an easy fight for Israel Desenier. He, he did well. Let me put it that way. He did well, but I think he was nervous. Even at this year, uh, knocked him out and, you know, get a victory. Uh, Marvin Vittori, he lost against Marvin Vittori. Uh, he got a victory against Luke Rockhold, okay, in the UFC 2 78. So Paul Costa is a no name in the UFC. He's uh, a great, great fighter, a great puncher, a great finisher. He got power, power. He got a lot of power, okay? So his rank right now in the UFC, his rank uh, number six, and uh, Robert Winnaker is ranked number two, okay? Uh, you know, Alex is the champion. He beat Israel Dessinger and took the belt. Uh, from Israel, so he's the champion. So Paul Costa doesn't like his contract in the UFC. You know he's making about one thirty thousand dollars, okay, per fight. So sixty five k showing up and sixty five k when he wins or whatever. I don't know. There's always bonuses on top, right? But average he makes one hundred and thirty thousand dollars per fight. And, you know that's not enough money. You know for a guy ranked number six. In the UFC, I know I understand that a lot of fighters have their own contract. They make something different. They make something different from the other fighters. Like Darren Till probably will make a little bit more than Paul Costa. I'm not sure. Darren Till is ranked number 15 right now, okay, in the middleweight division, and in, he's probably making more than Paul Costa. Paul Costa is a no name. You know, people like Paul Costa. People like how. The, he fights, people love the way he rolls, but $130,000 per fight is not the way to go, man. I think UFC should understand that. They need to start increasing wages. They need to stop giving these fighters more money because it's very hard on these fighters, you know? If you go to the NBA or NFL, the athletes there, they make about, you know, 50% of the total revenue. You know, UFC only pays 16 to 20%. Right, that's too low. I think uh, Dana White should, uh, you know, start respecting all these fighters, start giving them what they deserve. I think Paul Costa definitely deserve more than one hundred thirty thousand dollars per fight. And Robert Winnaker, I don't know. I think he loves his contract. Probably, I don't know if he's gonna get another fighter or UFC might look at, look for another fighter for him. But we know that Israel Desanya would definitely have a rematch fight with Alex. Okay. So whoever wins this fight for sure will fight with Robert Winnaker because he's ranked number two in the middleweight division. You know, that's how the fight goes. Uh, Paul Acosta, you know, came in the other day saying that Brazilian fighters, they have a shitty contract. I'm not too sure about that if UFC intentionally giving Brazilians unrealistic contract uh, to sign, but it's, it seems that as a fighter, you need to have your own contract. You need to, you know, negotiate properly. You know, the fight was canceled. You know, he was saying that, he was telling people that this fight was not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, and finally, he canceled, okay? So, it's a no-brainer. This fight's supposed to happen in Australia. Um, you know, Robert Winnicker is from Australia, and you know, Robert Winnicker was saying that he wants to he wants to fight in Australia, and it seems the fight's gonna be canceled. Paul Costa and negotiation still going on. We don't know how it's gonna turn out. You know, in the, in the UFC, they're always strict in this negotiation. But of course, I talked to Ariel Hawani saying that he wants about half a million dollars. Okay, well, half a million dollars. If you tell me that's, that's not too bad, but that's pretty low. You know, if you compare boxers, uh, compare like the, the Floyd Mayweather's or any boxer at all, like boxing, they make over that. Like, it's very difficult. It's very difficult in the UFC. You know, UFC takes mostly all the profits, mostly most, most of the profit, and give the fighters 16 to 20 percent. 
uh, I think this should change. I think fighters should start speaking out. You know, you guys see the Ganus problem. He haven't fought for a very long time. Same problem with negotiation, with contract. You know, he says he might move over to boxing. We saw John Jones, same, because they want more money. John Jones was a light heavyweight champion. He moved up in weight uh, to fight Francis Ngannou. Uh, the fight haven't happened so far because of contract, because of negotiation, because of the money they get it. You know, that's not good. You know, John Jones, legend in the UFC. You know, this guy's supposed to be the LeBron James in the UFC or the Lionel Messi in the UFC. But making that kind of money the Messi and the LeBron James are making is very hard in the UFC. You know, the top uh, earners in the UFC is most likely, <laughs> nobody it's a no-brainer, is Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor makes the most money and you can't compare Conor McGregor to other fighters because Conor McGregor generates in the revenue. He gather about a million pay-per-view buys like whenever he fights. So making that kind of money, 20 million, 30 million, is easy for Conor McGregor, but Conor McGregor and all the rest of the fighters are different, you know? I think these fighters are supposed to get what they deserve and UFC should pay them well. That's that's it, like what do you guys think about the fight? What do you guys think about the cancellation? Is the cancellation a proper one? Or, you know, do, do Paulo Costa deserve a new contract? Do Paulo Costa deserve to make above half a million in this fight. If you tell me, I think he deserved it, he earned it, this is, this is his last contract. I'm pretty sure if he wins this fight, he might sign another contract with the UFC, maybe a couple fight, three fights, uh, the UFC, you know, he's not getting any younger. I think he's good, you know, he opened up uh, in this kind of negotiation, I think is a better way to go. And fighting Robert Winnaker is a great fight, that's what everybody wants to see. Because if he beats Robert Winnaker, he might have a chance to fight Alex or to fight Israel uh, in the future. But, you know, the way it's going right now, UFC doesn't like it. But I think this is a big step. This is a bold step. You know, a lot of fighters are coming out saying that the money's not good. They're taking so much damages. Like, how can you make, how can some fighters make $10,000 per fight? How can some fighters make $20,000? Like, like, I'm talking about all the upcoming fighters. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Libra TV and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye.